Hey everybody, everybody, hello, how you doing? Hope everybody is doing great on this beautiful day. It's a beautiful day out, man. How am I doing? I'm happy that you asked, man. Because people don't ask that often. <laughs> no, let me stop. Um, we pushing through over here, man. We grind out, man. We grind it out over here. We push through no matter what's going on in life. We push through, man. We keep it pushing. You know, back at the park again, Mr. Touchgrass is, is here in full effect. You know what I mean? They just got done playing soccer over there. I tried to send y'all some B-roll of them. They was over there playing soccer. It got a little competitive over there, but it's a beautiful day, man. Lake in the background. It's beautiful, man. I love days like this. I love days like this. I want to talk about today. I don't know if this is going to be like a an extension of my last video when I was talking about like Bitcoin is a scam, people, you know, saying it's a scam, blah, blah, blah. And people don't really understand it. I put a lot of time into studying Bitcoin, right? Into studying Bitcoin, reading books, watching lectures, reading um, just articles, studying people who's been in Bitcoin since the inception. Uh, this is my second job, right? This is, this is, I put in real work over here when it comes to Bitcoin. No, this is one of the books I'm reading on top of, uh, the price of tomorrow, reading fiat inflation in France. This looked like this was the only copy ever made. Um, and it looked like it was, uh, it looked like it was written in the 1700s. <laughs> But this is what I'm reading. I do things like this so I can be a Bitcoin evangelist. Uh, I'm passionate about this. I want my life to surround this. Like, it, 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 it goes, God, it used to be God, family, uh, the Detroit Lions or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now it's like God, it's like Detroit Lions hip hop. You know, I'm a big fan of hip hop. Um, uh, but now like my, my priorities have changed a little bit. You know, you got, got God, family, Bitcoin. God, family, Bitcoin. My tolerance, after, after I've been studying Bitcoin, my tolerance for dumb stuff um, has decreased significantly. My tolerance for people have, have went down. It's all about Bitcoin, man, because it can really change our lives and it will change our lives. It's, it, it just all comes down to when you're going to realize and recognize that if you're not where you want to be in life and you want to eventually grow your wealth for yourself and your family. And you want to do that while you're still enjoying being around family and you don't have to put any any extra blood, sweat and tears and be away from your family and still build wealth. It's nothing, it, it ain't nothing better than that. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to hear information about that? I try to tell family, my family is the hardest people to, to get to bend the ear to even listen. It, it's been strangers that's been more receptive to the information than, than family. But they st family still want to play around on social media all day. Instagram, TikTok, all day just playing around with a bunch of nonsense, right? I'm not really here for the nonsense anymore. There's nothing funny. There's nothing funny at all. So this is my passion. Uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I be a Bitcoin evangelist. I'm spreading the good word. I'm doing my job. Um, yeah, man.
And I'm going to just try to keep it positive while I'm doing it, man. Keep Stay positive while I'm doing it, you know. But I want to talk a little bit about what Bitcoin is. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't know if this is going to be an extension from my last video. You know, everybody wants to tell me Bitcoin is a scam. Crypto is a scam. I, I try to bring up Bitcoin to them. They was like, I'm not into crypto. Did I say crypto? Did I say crypto? I said Bitcoin. So I want to uh, talk a little bit. Uh, 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 I want to go a little bit deeper into what Bitcoin is. Right. So Bitcoin is a protocol. Bitcoin is money. I said that in the last video. Yes, Bitcoin is money. But Bitcoin is also a protocol. What do I mean by that? Right. You have Bitcoin, the network. And then you have Bitcoin, the money. Right. So when I say Bitcoin is a protocol. What is a protocol, right? What is a protocol? The Internet is a protocol. The Internet is a protocol. You know, TCP IP, right? Let, let me not get too crazy. Oh, how about HTTP, right? When you're looking at the URL in your browser, right? HTTP or HTTPS for secure, right? When you're looking at the, uh, when you're looking at the uh, uh, URL in your browser, right? You know, you see HTTP, you know, and then, you know, whatever you're looking up, right? ESPN.com or whatever, right? Let's say, you know, you're, 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 you want to look at the scores for the game. You know, what's the scores? What's the scores for the game? Who won the game? Who won the game? You send a request to ESPN.com, right? You know, it's a protocol. You're moving information back and forth, right? moving information back and forth between places, right? So Bitcoin is like the HTTP for money, right? So it lets you send information over the internet, right? It lets you send value over the internet somewhere else, right? So when people come to me talking about Bitcoin can be hacked, they also think the internet can be hacked. A protocol is very simple, right? There's nothing to really hack. Either you can send the information or you can't, right? You can send the information or you can't. You can't hack the internet. You can hack a website. A website can be hacked, but a website is built on top of the internet. It's like in a, it's, a, it's almost like a stack. It's stacked on top of it's stacked on top of the internet, right? So that that that's how it works. You can't hack the internet itself, <laughs> right? So the more that you learn about what Bitcoin is, and I try to tell people about that, if you study harder to start clicking a little bit better, Bitcoin is nothing but a protocol. It's a protocol that allows you to move money from one place to another. You know what I mean? You got HTTP, you know, HTTP. Look at the begin. Look at the URL in your browser. HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's a protocol. Bitcoin is not even a technology, technically. I've been reading the price of tomorrow. I've been, you know, studying Jeff Booth. I was like, dang, that do kind of make sense. Is Bitcoin not even a technology? It's just a protocol. Technologies are going to be built on top of this. Right now, Bitcoin is just going to let you send that money from here to there in minutes, right? It's going to take some minutes to send it there. Lightning is a technology that's built on top of Bitcoin that'll let you, that lets you send Bitcoin in seconds. You know, so, you know, you hear about some people, man, yeah, 10 minutes, dang. Uh, lightning, you could send that, you could, bam. Lightning was built on top of Bitcoin to allow you to send money right away. 
So it's not, it's not even a technology. It's a protocol. Let's give you a real world example. When I say send information from one place to another. And I use that example that I used earlier about uh, uh, ESPN, right? You want to check the scores for the game. And thinking of that, I don't even know if I set my lineup, my fantasy lineup. You want to check the in, uh, you want to check the scores for the game, right? Check the scores for the game. Who won the games, right? What you do, you go to you know, ESPN.com, right? ESPN.com, and you send a request to ESPN.com. And then what does ESPN do in response? You want to know the scores for the game, right? You sent a request to ESPN servers by going to HTTP forward slash forward slash colon whatever www.espn.com, right? What's the scores of the game? You sent the request to ESPN servers. As a result, in response, ESPN sends information back to you. Their servers send information back to you, send data back to you, telling you what? Telling you what? I'll let you think about it for a second. Soccer game, you know, they got a little competitive, they chilled out. They was yelling at each other at present. Now they over there, they family, they... They had their wives and everything. The kids was over there uh, watching. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all figured the answer out? They sent a response back to you. ESPN does. Telling you. You guessed it. They sent a response back to you. Telling you your team is buns. Trash. Y'all lost yet again. Your quarterback went nine for 27, 58 yards, three interceptions, two of those interceptions were pick sixes. Your coach didn't even take him out the game. Y'all got organizational problems. That's what ESPN is telling you. They, they, they sent a request, they sent a response back to you like your team is ass. Why do you keep calling me? Go pick up a book. The Bitcoin Standard is a good place to start. Sincerely, ESPN. So that's how that pretty much works, right? Um, you, you send a request to ESPN servers. They send a response back to you filled with data, right? So Bitcoin, a protocol, you just send value from yourself to somebody else from one wallet to another or they do it or they send it to you the protocol moves the information over it moves bitcoin the little b it moves the little b the big b is the network and that network sends the little b's from me to you or from you to me or from me to whoever i'm sending it to for whatever reason because it's money at the end of the day right it's money it's a protocol, it's real estate, it's collateral, it's everything. You, you, you got those uh, semantic, it, Mr. Semantic. Well, Bitcoin is technically, Bitcoin is everything, bro. It's everything, <laughs> okay? So I just want to talk a little bit about Bitcoin and protocol though, man. So hopefully that's been helpful. Just a little bit of, um, of, of, of what's been on my mind and something I've just been wanting to talk about a little bit. I will be going into in depth about some of these things too. So I just don't want to just leave y'all with that there. But um, yeah, man, hope y'all enjoyed that. Hope that helped out a little bit. Um, we gonna get on up out of here. Y'all make sure y'all take care of yourselves. Y'all have a blessed day. I love y'all. Um, and we gonna see y'all again soon. I'm gonna see y'all again soon. Peace out.